Hi, and welcome to Ban Fan TV. If you're like us and enjoy the spectacular sights and sounds of the Northern Iron Band scene, then hopefully this is for you. Each week we hope to bring you clips from this week's parades, news of up and coming events, and also interviews with bands persons letting us know bits about themselves. Last Saturday on the March videos went to Andrum for the Denver Smith Memorial Parade. Here's a short clip of the UVF Regimental Band lead the parade. <laughs> This week on the march went to Lundai for East Bank Press and Boys Parade. Here's a clip of East Bank Press and Boys on Parade. <laughs> I'd like to thank David from East Bank Press and Boys for this week's five question interview. Thanks for doing this, David. This is uh, on the March uh, Band Fan TV, and really, I'm just going to ask you five simple questions, David. What age did you join the first band? Uh, I was talking a good 20 years, maybe. 20 uh, years ago? Yeah, so I think my first play might have been actually Lundy's Day. Uh, I actually began the symbols and so I moved up, up ranks up to the flute, but yeah, about 20 years, I think it was about 20 years. And why did you join the band? Just being in the state, uh, obviously, that time, you know, that time of the uh, years, everybody was joining them. Uh, that was a thing to be, you know, as a young person, yeah. you walk beside your brothers and bands, uh, you just you wanted to keep that tradition going uh, amongst your family. Uh, and yeah, I just caught up one night, took up some symbols and away I went. Do you have a few of tune now that you're in the band? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of the tune this guy, so it's actually bad because it's, it's actually my grandma's favourite tune to And uh, I don't actually know it. Uh, it was actually, no, I know it was me, it was a bite of me. Uh, some people you know, are under their proper orange tunes, but yes. nah, it's my granny, it was my granny's favourite tune. Nice. Uh, one year, it's, you know, a couple of bands played it outside the house first. Favourite parade every year? Every year? Every yeah, favourite year. parade. Favourite parade? Favourite parade was, I would have to say, the Ulster Covenant Parade. Uh, I didn't actually march it with my own band, I actually did it with an horror band, but that was, <laughs> that, that was probably the best parade for atmosphere and yes. the ways to be part of. Uh, well, this is your prayer tonight. Yep. What's in um, store for uh, East Bank on the year ahead? These young people all join the band. That's you no know, first and foremost uh, the most important thing. Uh, getting so many young people to actually take an interest in things like the Pippers Boys, the Orange Order, the bands. You know, it, some people are saying things are declining. In a way, you know, there are some bands that are declining and yeah. sad to see, but um, trying to get more young people, uh, even family members, uh, friends, 
and making sure that I'm able to put my word in to try and get those young people in the bands. But it's not, at the end of the day, it's not all about what's going on. It's actually their own things as well. Yeah, David, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. That's Bam Bam TV. Our golden oldie this week is Monkstown ICV and they're at Pride of Shores Parade from 2011. Enjoy. <laughs> This week there are three main parades. On Friday night, the 5th of April, Crossgar Young Defenders hold their annual parade in the town starting at 8pm. On Saturday night, in Larne, Consul Anderson Memorial will have their parade leaving from the Larne Rangers Supporters Club. And in Uri, it's the 45th anniversary for the Loyal Sons of Banana. And their parade will leave at 7.30 from the Belfast Road Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on the March videos, check out our Facebook page and you can also catch us on Twitter at On The March Images. Thanks for watching.